Okay, I figured instead of doing a lot of pictures, uh, instead what we do is I demonstrate uh, on the GPS simulator um, regarding the issue of the not the direct two not propagating into the flight plan. So here I'm on the simulator. I am coming into airport Payne Airport, Everett, Washington. It's where they keep all the eight. They manufacture all the eight sevens and triple sevens and four sevens. It's a, a typical one that we use up here in the Northwest. And uh, the wonderful thing about simulator is I could be at zero knots at 3,000 feet, and I'm just hovering here. <clears throat> so I'm 1.2 miles away from the missed approach on the GPS. So I'm just going to fly this at 3,000 feet because it's easier, because I really don't have an issue with the glide slope or anything like that. That all works great. So I'm just going to pump it up here to 190 knots, and we're going to be on our way. So we're slowly going to gain some speed. I'm just going to leave it... Uh, on the GPS, we're on the nav setting, 3,000 feet, 190 knots. It's kind of a fast approach. And we're one mile from the uh, end of the runway here to go mist. So I'm going to let this thing go mist and demonstrate the issue of when you go direct to enter, enter. We're going to, after this, we're going to go mist and then we're going to go south of here to Boeing Field. It's 20 ish miles. Uh, right near downtown Seattle. Alright, so we're missed approach here. We're going to activate the missed approach and we're going to unsuspend. So it's going to start turning us, as you can see, to the missed approach sequencing. You can see I'll zoom in here. Alright, so we're starting to do the the missed approach here. And uh, let's say it was just no good there at Payne, which usually is. It can stay quite fogged in for most of the day, while downtown Seattle, just 20 miles away, can be a lot better. So this is where we're talking about. Um, let's We're going to hit the Direct 2 button over here. So I hit Direct 2. All right, so it's going to Dup V, or Dup, Dove P. Well, we'll leave that one up to you. So we want to go to Boeing Field. Well, the difference is, is here's a nearest airport. If we use this nearest airport function, it will propagate. But let's say we are going to go somewhere out of the nearest range of the of this thing. So let's we're going to click on dot V, and we're going to go to Kilo Bravo Foxtrot. And it's India, right there. Enter. All right, so it says Boeing Field. Let's enter our direct to. It says right over here. Okay, so we are on our way to Boeing Field, and everything agrees here. Of course, you'll never know you're on your way to Boeing Field just by looking at this screen, because it does not allow you to have your waypoint displayed anywhere on here. That was one of my other beefs in, on the previous. So we're gonna hit the home button. Let's go to the default nav. And it shows right here we're going direct to Boeing Field. Now we're, we're kind of getting lined up for the ILS. I kind of did this purposely. So um, we've gone past the missed approach. Which it's good. been again 20, 30 seconds, maybe a minute here. I haven't even looked. So let's go and say, hey, we need to pull up the procedures. So we're going to go home. Now keep in mind, we're, we are still going to Waypoint BFI, which is Boeing Field. So I'm going to go procedures like we would on the uh, 430. And if you look right here, it is saying we're still back at the pain approach. So I click approach and see that it still says pain airport. We are only 15 miles away from Boeing Field and it's still saying pain airport. It did not fill in our new waypoint destination. So let's go back to the home button. And here's how I figured out a way to get there quickly, which is kind of a pain. But see, there's a scroll that says down, scroll down, waypoint, airport. Now you see it says right here, it says BFI is there, procedures. Uh, we're on the north side, we'll choose the ILS. And here's everything right there. Let's activate the, activate the approach right there and I kinda of did that purposely because I knew we'd be pretty close as you can see we're kinda of lined up for it already that's the only way that I figured out to efficiently get when you do a direct to now John did notice that 
if you're in a nearest function, so now we're going to run the we're going to um, the ILS one three there point field. So let's go home, default nav, and we're, we are indeed going to the waypoints here. So let's say we wanted to go somewhere else. This is no no different than going mist or anything like that. So if we were to do home nearest airport, you get this list. So let's choose say Renton. So look, and you'll see that procedures does come up when I when I went for the nearest button. Procedures. And here's all the procedures for Renton. Can, let's just choose that and look at it. It will propagate Renton, RNAV 1.6, Zulu. And I can activate that approach. And boom, away we go to that one. But if I wanted to go back and just do direct to, let's say we wanted to go down to Olympia, which is maybe 40, 50 miles south. And I used the, the thing that we're used to in the 430 of hitting the waypoint. Click there. And I would say K Oscar Lima whatever just a little bit Mike Olympia Regional Enter Direct to navigation enter Okay, we're on our way to Olympia. That's confirmed up here. But no matter how long we wait, when we go here, it will still have our last destination airport, our last destination approach is right here. It still says Renton. And that's the issue. I called Garmin the other day and they were unaware of this issue and I was going to get an email hopefully at some point. But it'll say Renton all the way until we go past Olympia. It will not auto-propagate. So that was the one major one that I had for a gotcha. So you might want to be aware of that. The nearest function does work. It does tend to auto propagate. Let's just pick a random airport. Well, let's go to Seattle. There we go. Procedures. ILS 16 right for the center. And there it is. It will pull it up quickly. No problem. Activate approach. We're on our way. But using a direct to enter enter like we're used to does not work at all. Go back to Boeing Field. Enter, direct to, home, procedures, still has Seattle. Hope that makes sense. Doesn't to me.